Today we have a really cool guest, Jose Talamantes. Uh, he hey. is uh, <laughs> one of our good <laughs> friends. But I never thought that something like that would happen to me, you know, like the Donculated yeah. Bridge until I had that. One of his friends went over there, over there to Donculated Bridge, you know, messing around. They didn't think it much of it. They ended up getting separated, which is weird because like they're, they're going through a path and there's only one path. So it's like kind of hard to get lost. Him and one of his other friends made it out, but another one didn't. Like they didn't find him until like the morning. And when they found him, he completely changed. He didn't want to study anymore. He didn't want to do any any of that anymore. Like, like how was your first experience or what did you have to do during your first experience with the donkey lady bridge? Oh, well, the first time you go through there, when you pass the bridge, you know, you hear the water, right? But like, like the sounds start to like fade away and like things start like getting weird the further you go in. Um, my friend, he's like, he, he used to be in track. He used to be in soccer, he was super athletic. He'd outrun me like all the time, super strong, super fit. But after we went through the bridge, we walked through the path, he started getting really slow and he couldn't walk. He started like walking towards the side. Like everyone could see the path. Right, right. obvious, the path was there. Like, but he kept like walking to the side. We we're like, bro, why are you walking to the side? And he's like, he's like, I'm walking down the path. What are you talking about? Psychologically, like he was being messed with or something. And at first I thought it was just in our heads. The thing that like creeped us out the most was that um, while we're walking, we all saw, uh, was it something like go in front of us, like appear in front of us and open its eyes. And we started running, but interestingly enough, uh, my friend John, he couldn't run. Like he was slow and we're, we're like, <laughs> like right, right. come on, man, like hurry up. He yelled, I'm trying, I'm trying, I can't, you know? And that was one of the things, like if you were like, uh, what was it, if you weren't strong or something, like flea or spiritually or whatever. Yeah, you told me about it, Tom Montes, and you told me all, everything you just told uh, the audience. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. Uh, I got to check this out for myself. And I remember we were just hanging out one night and just at the spur of the moment, you're like, dude, let's just go right now. So I remember we like went together on the sidewalk. I started noticing when I was experiencing it for the first time was uh, the tree limbs and the leaves around us becoming almost kind of distorted, kind of like yeah. Strange double vision effect. I remember I pointed out to you and, and you noticed it too. That yeah, was... it was like a person, like like a person. That was weird. Yeah. And then the deeper we went, the more like obvious it became, more noticeable the distortion of everything was. You asked me to go right or left. And for some reason, I, I think I kept choosing left. Uh, and I kept feeling like I was getting pulled to the left side of the path. I felt like it was harder to walk, like my legs were getting heavier. Uh, we heard a noise. Like yeah. and it sounded kind of like a donkey mixed with like a human kind of weird creature sound. And then we both just ran. I remember that, dude. Uh, you remember those periods of darkness? You know, it was crazy. Yeah, it just like flash, right? It'd be like like all yeah. the, the light would just like go yeah. away and then come back. Well, we were going to go. Steel was telling me the day before how he wasn't able to go to sleep. Had a like a bad experience like there. Like, so we kept on calling Talamantes and kept on calling him. And, you know, it, it was almost as if something didn't want us to go there. We kept on trying to call Talamantes and, and nothing. So Steel and I went. When we crossed the bridge, uh, I saw a blue light right where the water was. We, we started getting into the main path and everything seemed like a tunnel almost. You know, the trees almost started forming like a tunnel. So everything started looking distorted. And then there was what we thought was a dog, right? Or some sort of animal in the in the pathway. Because it was, it, it looked like it was shaking or moving or something like that. And it's the, the weirdest experience you can ever have. And that dog you were talking about that we thought we saw, it ended up being a tree limb. Um, the distortion was getting so heavy. And that was actually more distortion than I felt when me and Tom Montes went. And it was getting so heavy that that tree limb, it looked like it was moving. And in the corner of your eye, it kind of looks like a like a dog or like a creature on the ground. And the light that I had seen at the bridge crossing uh, was up in the air. It started uh, turning off and turning back on, but it would get closer each time. Uh, Steel was like, hey, wait, let's wait to till it gets closer. And I was like, no, Steel, I don't <laughs> yeah, know what this is. I like, <laughs> already got freaked out with the people also, brain on the a blue light we saw, it was too high up to be someone with a flashlight. Cause it yeah. was on the I think it was starting to come on the bridge. And we just couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Cause there were people with their phone lights when we first got there, but they had left. And you can tell there are people walking, you can see it kind of like their bodies and stuff. But this light was just it had no nothing attached to it. And it seemed like it was right on the bridge. And from what we could tell, we couldn't see anything it was attached to. And it was way too high up. We were going to meet 
Talamantes that same very night. Um, we had scheduled it ahead of time and all that. We couldn't get a hold of Talamantes. And Talamantes, he, he said he never got a call. I thought you guys were lying. I was like, Wait, you said your phone. Then you showed me the, the list. I was like, hey, they did call me. They just yeah. Came through. We, we were doing a prayer. We were like, God, if you're with us, give us a sign that you're with us. And all of a sudden, a baby lamb just comes out. Oh, like, this is, this is in the city. It was in, in the, the city. Just like, after. that's just like oh, freaking crazy. God. I was like, still. <laughs> We just finished praying and we just see a baby lamb. This is in Texas, so you're like, okay, that's normal. But no, it was like in the middle of the city. It wasn't just on the outskirts. It was like busy. All random. Uh, we went to a different path. I remember because Tom Montes, you told me the path uh, before the bridge was even more intense, I think. It's to and the I, church. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Abandoned church. You went Dude, with tell, the John and Ryan. that church. You yeah. cross different buildings and one of them mm-hmm. is like a corn. Like you go inside and then it's like images of corn and right. stuff like that. It's like doesn't yeah. make sense we tried getting close like i never <laughs> we never made it out there because yeah there was like an oh it was weird like it sounded like it was getting closer and closer like the closer we got to like the church and we started hearing like a bell ring but this path is kind of weird because out of out of the shade a lady appeared a literal lady walked out you know like in like black walked towards us man walked towards us right. it like it took form from like the shadows. We didn't say anything, right? We didn't like, oh my gosh, there's a lady walking through. Right. No, we That's just dipped. Thing. I didn't add any information, nothing. I didn't want to skew his like his perception of what he saw. And he told me, he was like, well, I saw a lady walk out of the darkness and she started pointing at us, you know? And everyone was like, yeah, yeah, so I saw it. For everyone to agree and like, okay, so I saw it without telling them, right? So I wasn't just following them. Like I literally saw that. We didn't even get out of the car yet. And we saw this apparition at the end of the bridge and it looked like a spherical kind of short thing. oh yeah Remember it was that? like a I, I saw something shake it was like a circular thing and it shaked really fast and it just like went off to the side i did kind of feel like a like a bad presence and just kind of like talking to me without words like without actual sounds we went down that that harder path that i was talking about earlier we got to that point to where all the sounds of like the crickets the trees the wind the river it almost like got like kind of like like when you're in the snow and it's like snow and heavy. It's almost like all the sound is just gone. It's almost like a void of sound. It's like insulated. So look, there's like a trash can right here, and then all of a sudden, there was a shadow figure. It just kind of manifested out from the trash can, and appeared and it kind of like darted off to the left side. It happened, it happened in a long enough time to where we all saw the same thing because I looked at you know my other friend and the other one. I was like, did y'all see that? You know, and they're like, yeah, we saw it. And they were like freaked out. Some weird energy there, like for sure. You don't think that it would be there. And you, to some degree, you start almost second guessing to that. Oh, okay, maybe it's just the darkness or maybe it's just, you know, you're trying to clear out any doubt or any, any place where it could be your mind playing games with you. And once you clear that out, you're like, oh, shoot, like that was, that was real. That was. I was there.